Dallas inherits an old map, one he thought had only sentimental value. Boy, was he ever wrong about that one. Good morning to Jamie Colby, host of Strange Inheritance on Fox Business. This is an interesting story. You know, Tim, emotional attachment to something like this, it doesn't get these kinds of prices. And this family was really, really surprised when they learned everything about what they had. At the time, its value was the joy it would give you looking at the thing. And this map is one of the first maps ever drawn of Texas. West Texas is almost missing from the map, which is so interesting. And it's a map that this particular heir played with as a child. He took it out at a Thanksgiving dinner when he grew up. It was the end of dinner, so it was mostly messy plates, and that probably made it worse, you know, as far as danger to the map. Someone was there from Texas. He lives in Alabama, and he starts to tell them how it was a childhood toy that when he would go to his grandfather's, he would, he would play with. And I said to him, wait a minute, you took this map out, put it on the table near the stuffing and the gravy? He went to a local Antiques Roadshow meeting where he had somebody take a look at it and he said he knew the minute they looked at it from looking at their face he had something much more valuable than he ever imagined so do you get to tell us or do we have to tune in to find out how much the darn thing's worth i hate to be a spoiler alert i'll tell you it was over a hundred thousand dollars it was in great condition remarkable condition because even though it had been folded up and kept in the attic it was still in very good shape. It dated back to 1849, so that's pretty incredible on its own. Families not only can get rich financially, but they can get rich historically, or even learning something about their loved ones and why that loved one thought it was valuable enough to hand down. Sometimes you find out that Grandpa was a horse thief, though, don't you? <laughs> Or a hoarder. <laughs> or a Hoarding hoarder, apparently right. pays off. I learned a lot in this show about different things. Coins, uh, ranching, uh, dinosaurs, alligators. <laughs> People inherit the strangest things. It's big. It is the world's tallest thermometer. We want to keep this in the family at all costs. It's just fascinating to learn not only about the stuff, but I think what Strange Inheritance does, Tim, that's different than other shows like Pawn Stars and Antiques Roadshow is it's not just about the item. It's really about the families and where we've all been and, and maybe a little bit about where we're going, what is worth holding on to and what is worth selling. We are so looking forward to this episode of Strange Inheritance airs Monday through Thursday nights at 8 o'clock on Fox Business. Jamie Colby, thank you so much.